The standard method of catalyst withdrawal can lead to many problems. It's not only the hot abrasive catalyst moving at high velocity through the pipeline, causing erosion, and ultimately leading to hot catalyst leaks and personnel exposure. The life expectancy of the spent catalyst storage vessel is diminished, while trucks hauling the high temperature catalyst can be damaged. There's also this operational instability that you get, and it happens every time there's a catalyst withdrawal. As a catalyst is withdrawn, the regenerator bed drops, but this is poorly controlled. So the pressure spikes, temperatures increase, carbon monoxide levels go up, catalyst circulation worsens. So, of course, this leads to coke combustion issues. Unit stability goes down and has a negative impact on unit yields. And then there's that incredibly hot catalyst, a safety issue that operators have put up with for years, not to mention the logistics of waiting for it to cool. We wanted to return stability to the system, to substantially improve yields and improve safety. So we designed the Continuous Catalyst Withdrawal System to solve all of these issues. It all starts with control. The controller uses highly sophisticated logic that precisely controls withdrawal rate. This balances the pressures between the regenerator and the collection vessel. Heat exchangers cool the catalyst from the regenerator from temperatures of 1300 degrees Fahrenheit to safer ambient temperatures. The catalyst travels at a safer velocity which minimises erosion. Everlasting valves are used to ensure long life in abrasive catalyst service. This gives you consistency and a safer sampling point beyond catalyst withdrawal system where the catalyst has been cooled. This finally puts an end to the safety hazards of old. It's proven to be safer, more efficient and give you better yields. Oh, and it can often pay for itself within a year, especially in a pressure balanced FCC unit.